Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's the first six gems of funk. I'd like to welcome you to my My Hero Academia chapter 317 review. Now, in this chapter, we see both Best Genist, we see Endeavor, Camry Woods, Hawks, Mount Lady, and Ed Shot. Now, they were all at the hideout last chapter, at the villain hideout in the woods. And there was the explosion, but nonetheless, these guys are fine. They brushed it off like it's nothing, because they don't really seem injured at all, but they are recuperating, because I guess it, they may have got, received some damage. But nonetheless, like I said, the, these guys, they don't seem too, too fussed about the explosion. N no major injuries. Now, they are discussing um, the latest whereabouts of AFO and the league, but like I said, they're discussing the whereabouts or lack of whereabouts because they have no clues on where they are. The explosion wiped out a lot of the evidence that they, any evidence that they could have used or found at the hideout. There's been no public sightings of them. So how did, how are the heroes got going to figure this out? We also find out that not only that, or a former hero, Death Arms is retiring because he can't take the public pressure that public are throwing at him. And he even says like, I'm not a hero, I'm only human. And this is a moment that really shows just how much, how much the heroes who have stuck, stuck around are suffering and how much they're having to deal with the public backlash. Whilst other heroes are, have just retired and like, gone off to the corner. Now, Cameron Wee Woods does mention maybe we should expand this beyond it, just us heroes and ex expand to the wider hero, hero community in Japan. Cause so far it seems that only these five heroes are aware of Deku's powers and All Might and All Might's link to a AFO. Now Endeavor does mention that regarding Death Arms that in the battle that he led the charge to round up the spy heroes working for, for the Paranormal Liberation Front and he, he seemed like a hero with backbone. Uh, but, but, he, but Best Genius mentioned that even the best heroes do come under, they may not fall that day, but one day they do. But also Endeavor does mention that the media is starting to close in on Deku, not, meant, not singling him out specifically, but with more heroes quitting and details being leaked, it's only a matter of time. Because with how things are, especially with the police force being stretched thin, because Endeavour does say we can't let the world learn the truth about this. If it were, then Deku would be caught in a vicious cycle of negativity. Not only would villains, more villains who aren't even associated with AFO attack Deku, but even civilians and other vigilantes might trying to take Deku's power. Now, this is where Mountain Lady herself, she mentions is all for one gonna go public about Deku and his abilities and his link to, and his link. But this is when Endeavor, again, the number one hero. And this is why Endeavor is the number one hero, guys. You need to drop a like down below for Endeavor. And this is where Endeavor says, no, it doesn't seem like this is their intention because if it was, they he would have already done that by now. But also, if he did do that, it would put Deku in a compromising position, while well, put them in a compromising position where they would have to lock up Deku, which would not be beneficial to AFO or the league at all. Okay, now guys, this is where we come into the... I would say if this was a roller coaster, we're heading right right to the top, right before a big drop, guys, because we get a message from in, from Shoto and he's telling Endeavor to answer his phone and to call him back. Now, obviously, this is in reference to him and his father promising, promising to take out Dobby. You guys comment down below and tell me how you think this is going to go. Because I've got mad, I've got... I've got mad expectations for this upcoming fight with Endeavor and Shoto versus Dobby. Now you guys comment down below and tell me how you think it's gonna go. Tell me how you think, how do you think this is gonna end? Do you think Dobby will end up killing Endeavor? Would Endeavor will allow Dobby to kill him in order to atone for his sins? Now I personally don't believe that will happen. I think Dobby may gravely injure Endeavor. But I don't think he will kill him. I think Shoto will stop that and kind of take his father's place. If I mean, if you disagree, then comment down below, guys. But Endeavor does 
say to himself just hold on a little longer Shoto because he knows he needs to sort out this issue with Deku and all for one and I mean he's gonna have to put Dobby on hold for a bit for now unless Dobby comes to him you guys tell me what you think now Hawks gets a message from All Might and he says Deku's he's coming to contact with someone from the league and it's, oh he's already it doesn't matter it's already taken out on the very next page and we see Deku and he's attacked this he's attacked this fog this bounty hunter sent by AFO he's kicked him for for one of a mansion and he's just got him stronger with black whip he looks like <laughs> Deku just looks like a beast he looks like an absolute demon right now guys and they even reference it later on in this chapter when people are talking about Deku now All Might's there on the scene as well and he's, and he's just shocked he's like kid and Deku before Deku Deku doesn't even respond he just jumps back out of the building and says the intel I don't have any in this one didn't have any intel be careful he might explode too and he just leaves and All Might screams he says wait a minute just wait because he try, he's trying to speak to Deku he's trying to get him to stop for a second because Deku's on autopilot guys he's not resting he's just going from place to place if there's a villain he takes him out by now if they're connected to AFO if not he's back on it now this is no good for his mental or, or his physical well-being and All Might's trying to re reach this food to him but Deku's not listening he says you don't have to tag along with me anymore I'm fine and he says really I've acquired what you can do. I'm capable of doing what you can do at 100% with no recoil to boot. So, so, because we get to see what Deku's thinking of and he's thinking about the message that AFO did leave for him that he said, it's your turn now. He's done with All Might. So Deku knows it. he has, it is him versus AFO is going to be, All Might's no longer a factor in this anymore. As sad as it, as sad it is to say, as sad as it is to say All Might is no longer a factor for, for Deku well not for Deku but for AFO but All Might does say that I need you to tell the world that I am here and we, we see more of his inner thoughts because this because Deku doesn't really say he doesn't really say anything else after he tells All Might he's fighting and he can do what he can do because he pretty much just turns and runs so we get to see All Might in a monologue now Deku's like, don't worry about me really. But we, like I said, we see All Might's inner thoughts and it's like, you're dead so keep me out of harm's way and you have your duty as a world of one for all. You don't have to look back at me anymore. I'd swear I'd raise you up and protect you. Now this goes back to the promise he made to Deku's mom that he would keep Deku out of harm's way. But he also knows that doing this would eventually lead to his death at the hands of a villain. Like, like, like Sir Knight I predicted. But well, All Might continues to think to himself, you're the only one who can who can bear this and this burden I know is crushing, but do your best, you deserve to rest. I need you to tell you that kid, I need to. But as All Might tries to reach out towards Deku um, and, give him his, and give him the pack lunch he's been trying to give him for so long, he, he falls and the lunch falls on the ground and it's a it's a very sad scene to be honest I mean I'm probably not making very I'm probably making light of it but I know the anime will do it justice and if you read the manga alongside you'll you, you'll see but this is when we see a figure like in the background like he's hid, hidden and we see we find out that it's Stain Stain's just there ch chilling where All Might and Deku is now. Well, Deku's danger sense hasn't gone off, so that mean so does that mean Stain isn't a, fr a threat because he's he po he's not intending to kill Deku or hurt Deku. Maybe he's here here to see All Might. And to, what if seeing the number the former number one hero in this state is enough to maybe cause Stain to snap any more than what he more than how he already is. But Stain, oh my god, we see Stain, he doesn't do anything, or we see he's just standing there, but just seeing him alone has gotten me so hyped. You guys comment down below and tell me how you feel about Stain being back in this series. We got Stain back, guys. And we are on the last page of the chapter, guys, and we do we do get to see what 
people think about Deku and they say, they say he appears without a sound and that he's got a whole mess of quirks with him. That sounds like all for one's ability, right? Or even like a Nomu. But apparently he goes around helping people. The rumors say he's caked with blood and filth, which cover up his many scars. Looking at him, you'd never guess he was a hero. Now, that's the end of the chapter, guys. And like I said, we get to see how people are starting to view Deku, that like he doesn't even, they're more, they're more resembling him to, they're more putting him in line with All For One and Anomu, like these unholy creatures. Or, And it's sad to say that maybe it's not going to be until Deku realizes just how far he's become once he meets up with Stain and Stain as disdain for what Deku has become because I believe Stain will not be happy to see Deku the way he is now not not that same hopeful bright young man that we saw at the beginning of the series but that's My Hero Academia chapter 317 guys if you like the video drop a co comment and drop a like down below it really helps out with the channel I'm the 36 James of Funk 36 COF take care keep it fresh and keep it funky goodbye